Country Music Association. They're going to be airing their awards right here on News 8 tonight. Some of the best in the business will receive recognition for their talent. News 8's Brian Spiros joins us live in Hartford to talk about the show and the popularity of country music here in the great state of Connecticut. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, guys. The TV and radio worlds, they are colliding this morning. We are at the studios of 92.5 here in Hartford. Joining me now is Broadway. He is one of the on-air personalities. So we want to talk about country music to start. It has become, it's been around for a long time, but it's become very popular in the last couple of decades. Yeah, the sound has really changed a lot, and I think that has a lot to do with it. It's, it's a little more poppy now, and I think a lot of us don't want to admit that, but it really is, and I think that kind of brings in the mainstream appeal. You know, if you go to a Florida Georgia Line show, you're going to see people that you didn't even know listen to country music. I mean, it gets mass appeal. It sounds different. Less twang. And, and, you know, this carries on to what you were just saying. I mean, there's been a, a little bit of a crossover, too. I mean, people who are in pop, they come over into country, and then you're obviously attracting a lot more people. All formats, yeah. I think that kind of started with, like, Jessica Simpson back in the day. Like, she was like, I'm going to release a country album. And I think a lot of artists saw how warm and inviting the format is. And now with the way the sound is, you can pretty much, you can make a twangy song like Casey Musgraves. You can make a pop song like Sam Hunt. And you can label it whatever you want. You can call it country. And we're very accepting. We just love music in general. Hence the popularity. All right, I want to go back here now to Corey. You can't hide from me. We're going to talk about the CMAs <laughs> okay. tonight. Okay. Uh, she is also one of the on-air personalities here at 92.5. So what can we expect tonight from the show? Glitz, glamour. I love the way everybody dresses up, first of all, looking really forward to what everybody's wearing. Um, this is going to be an interesting year because so the male and female vocalist categories, how awkward is it going to be if Miranda Lambert and Blake Shelton win in their categories? Very awkward. Very awkward. Uh, also, there's two people that are nominated that aren't real mainstream country, and that's Casey Musgraves and Chris Stapleton. And they have a good shot at winning it, so it's a really odd year this year. It will be interesting to watch, nonetheless, your predictions. Who do you think is going to be the artist of the year, album of the year? I know I'm putting you on the spot. Uh, I'm going to go with Florida Georgia Line for vocal duo. Sam Hunt for new artist of the year. He's really hot right now. I think Luke's going to get entertainer. I think Miranda, this is her year for female vocalist, and uh, it could be Blake in the mail. So, yeah, it could be awkward. awkward. All right. I hope everyone was writing that down. We're going to see if you were right, but you know your stuff, so something tells me you are right. Fingers crossed. All right, fingers <laughs> crossed. Corey, thank you very much. As a reminder, the CMAs are on tonight right here on News 8. You can keep it here. They start at 8 o'clock. That is the very latest. We are reporting live this morning from the 92.5 studios in Hartford. I'm Brian Spiros. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio.